Welcome back guys. Today in this Adobe XD tutorial, I will show you guys how to create a working scroll bar in Adobe XD. I have done a similar tutorial a couple of years ago. Since then, the XD has updated rapidly. Now we have more option which we can uh, utilize to create a working scroll bar. All right, let's get started. For the first example, I'm going to show you guys how to create this full screen scroll bar. This one is straightforward in XD now. I'll show you guys how to create. It's very easy. I have this artboard in here and I have a header and a footer and a background. And uh, in here, I already defined the size for the artboard. It's going to be iPhone 11 size. You can have any size you want, but you have to define the size earlier and place your header and footer on exact place. Now I'm just going to create some content in here, just a rectangle and a background container. And I'm just going to have some text in here, just a dummy content. All right. Now I'm going to make duplicate of this content using the repeat grid and I will make duplicates until it overflow the artboard area. All right. Let's treat this mockup as a high fidelity mockup. And let's say you have content below. You have to show a scroll bar so that you can scroll and see, right? So to do that, first thing we need to bring the header and footer to the top so that our content will be behind the layer. Now to make the scroll work, all we need to do is select the artboard in tools and increase the size of the artboard until it covers the entire content. In our case, somewhere around here is fine, all right? Now our artboard is covering entire content, including the overflowing content. If you are using a rectangle to the background, adjust the rectangle size to fit into the new artboard size as well. Now, if you notice here, we have this new blue icon with a dotted line. This is just a guide to show us the exact artboard size. Whatever you see on top is going to be the exact artboard size and the content below, it's going to be overflowing object. So we didn't change the artboard size at all. We just changed the working artboard size inside XD. If you want to change the artboard size, you can move this uh, thick up and down all right so let's play and see how it will work now you see xd has added a scroll bar which is good and if you move up and down the scroll bar our content is moving but our header and foot are also moving which is not what we want we can fix this really really easy just close this one go in here select the header in here just select the fixed position when scrolling same for the footer as well. Now, if you play and see, our scroll bar is working perfectly fine. Okay, so this is very easy. This is good for scroll bar the size of artboard. But how can you create a scroll bar for the content inside the artboard? I will show you guys how to do it in our next example. I have this artboard in here, same as earlier, we have this rectangle, a text and a container behind. Let's say I want to add a scroll bar inside this white container. First thing, I'm going to make the scrolling content, same as earlier, I'm going to repeat this using the repeated grid. And for this, we have to create our own scroll bar prototype. So let's do it. I'm just going to use a rectangle and a scoring bar, a small box with a rounded corner. You guys can create any type of design you want. The principles are going to be same. All right, so our scroll bar is ready, content ready. Now, copy the white rectangle behind and place it on top. Alternatively, you can draw a new rectangle on top, which is covering the entire portion of your scroll area. Now select all components, including the new rectangle. Right click and select mask with shape, which will mask the shape and create only the portion which is going to be visible. Now select this masked object, go to components, create a new component. And you can name the component anything you want. All right. Now select this component, go to component states and create a new state. And I'm going to name this state as scrolled in. Okay. 
Now select the scroll end state. You must select the end state and double click the component. Now bring down the scroll bar to the end position like this. Make sure the X position doesn't change, only the Y position will change. Same as the scroll bar, select the content and bring up until the last content visible in the bottom. Same again, make sure only Y position is changing, keep the X position same as the initial position. Switch back and forth with the default and scroll bar position to check our changes has been updated. It has been updated here. Now select the artboard, add all track to create a new duplicate of this artboard in here. Now select the same component from the new artboard and go to state and activate the scroll and state in here. You can do other way around as well, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's start prototyping it. Let's go to the prototype mode. All right, first thing what I'm going to do is I will show you guys how to do a scroll bar with only one artboard. Okay, so I'm just going to put this aside first. We only need one artboard for this method. Now select the component, double click and select the scroll button which is going to move and create a new interaction by pressing on this blue icon. And go to the trigger, trigger mode, let's keep it tap. Animation will be auto animation and in the destination, choose the scroll end state instead of a artboard. All right. Now go back to state and select the scroll end state. Again, create a new interaction for this one. Same as earlier, but this time destination will be default stage. Now, if you play and see, our scroll is working fine, but it's not a real scroll scroll. It's just working with a click. What we need is drag. Unfortunately, for drag trigger, we are not able to select states in destination. It's not updated yet in XD. So we need to stick to two artboard solution for drag trigger. I will show you guys how to do it. Go back to the scroll rectangle and create a new trigger by pressing on this plus icon in here, which will create a new trigger. And for this, it's automatically put drag or you can select the drag from the drop down in here in triggers. And auto animation is fine. And in the destination, select the second duplicate artboard which we have created. Now go back to the second artboard, select the object which is going to make the trigger, double click and this time again drag is going to be trigger and again select the previous artboard for destination. Let's add one more interaction to complete the loop. We have added a click trigger with states, let's do the same for this artboard as well. Add a new interaction in here, select tap as its trigger and for the destination choose the default states. All right. Now let's play and see our scroll bar. As you guys can see, our scroll bar is working fine. You can drag, you can also click, both are working. But if you have noticed here, we can't stop the scroll bar in halfway stage. When you release your button, it will go to the other stage. This one you can't fix with this method. This is a prototype anyway, we are not creating a real uh, scroll bar. But for a prototype, this should be okay. All right, guys, that's all about it for today. Hopefully, you guys uh, learned something new from today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next uh, tutorial.